This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. What's this? It's a gear for music box, which means there's an epiphone inside it. Let's get it out of the box. Go on, man. Where are you? Right then, so here it is, the Epiphone Les Paul Classic Metallic Gold Worn Finish. Uh, basically, um, it's, a, it's a gold top um, Epiphone with a sort of a smooth satin finish. There's not um, a gloss finish anywhere on this guitar. Um, yeah, I was uh, recommended to get one of these by that uh, chap who emailed me called Marty because he'd had the same um, bad experience that I had with the Epiphone Les Paul Studio, and he uh, he told me that you know this is a different beast altogether. So is it? Well, yes, it is. Uh, this guitar came from the same retailer as I got that awful. Uh, Les Paul studio from um, which I won't bore you with the details but basically the frets on it were absolutely knackered um, brand new guitar that immediately needed um, you know the frets leveling um, this one you know the action is um, I haven't measured it but it's it's low and slinky um, I've just been having a little bit of a noodle before I started uh, filming this segment of the video and I can't find any bends uh, choking out or fret buzz anywhere on the guitar. Um, nice low action and you know everything that was wrong with that studio is you know pretty much sorted with this. Um, I won't bore you running through the specs on this. It is a Les Paul and it follows the uh, the Les Paul standard recipe for the most part, uh, apart from it's Indian laurel for the fretboard rather than rosewood. Um, but, you know, as you can probably see up here, we've got Grover tuners as well. I'll put a full link to the spec in the description. Um, but first impressions of this guitar are very, very positive. Um, it's, it's nicely put together. Uh, I love the smooth sort of satin, um, gloss-free finish, especially on the back of the neck. No fret sprout. Um, you know, the nut is cut beautifully well, nice first fret action. And, um, you know, unlike a lot of budget Les Pauls, I'm thinking mainly here of the, of the vintage brand, which I have a lot of time for Trev Wilkinson and those, um, those guitars that bear his name, you know, those vintage, uh, branded instruments. Unlike, uh, those, this is a guitar that, uh, cleans up nicely from the volume control. I'm plugged as usual when I'm doing these kind of, um, you know, playing and talking videos. I'm just plugged into the little laptop that you can see over there via the Sonicake Twiggy Blues. Um, and we'll do a full, um, you know, kind of, let's hear the, the, uh, the guitar in a mix with proper, you know, kind of tones. Um, you know, on another day, but just for the moment, you know, it's the, the, the Twiggy Blues is dialed in with a fairly crunchy kind of sound. Let me show you if I just kind of dial the guitar's volume up. I've got kind of. And then just roll the guitar's volume down and. Lovely clean tone. You know, the, the, um, the whole point of a guitar like this, I guess, back in the 50s was that that's exactly what you did. You know, when this guitar, this style of guitar was first designed, you know, this was your channel switch. You know, you'd have uh, a rhythm guitar sound, you know, maybe on your neck pickup, which is why it's labelled rhythm on the poker chip there. And then you 
can just go. There's your lead sound and back again. Or vice versa, depending upon uh, how you like to do it. But yeah, so the pickups uh, clean up nicely from the volume control. It's giving a very good account of itself, this guitar. Um, you know, I'm pleased that I decided to give Epiphone a second chance and... Um, you know, it's because uh, that, that, that other one was, it left a very sour taste, but I think we'll just write that off as a one off. Um, you know, this is, um, it's the business, really. It's a, it's a lovely, well sorted single cut guitar. Um, certainly, first impressions of it are it plays nice, it sounds good, it all of the kind of sounds are where you expect them to be. Um, the neck is, um, again, people keep asking me for neck profiles and stuff like that. And, you know, it's comfortable. Okay. It's neither a lollipop stick nor a baseball bat. Um, it's probably listed in the specs down below, but I can't imagine anybody, you know, kind of grabbing hold of this neck and thinking, oh, this is going to take some getting used to. It feels immediately comfortable and familiar. Another thing people always ask me about is the weight. Um, you know, it's that heavy, basically. Um, it, you know, I don't have a set of scales in the house to uh, to do that kind of measurement on. But you'd pick this guitar up and you think that's about the right weight for you know a, a comfortable electric guitar. It's not a boat anchor, and it doesn't feel like it's made of uh, you know kind of tissue paper either. It's it's everything is just. How would you describe it? The the neck profile, the weight, and everything would be you know happy medium. And as I say, couple that with you know great sounding uh, pickups. Or so far they sound pretty good. We'll see what they sound like when we uh, chuck them through bias amp or something like that. Um, but so far, great sounding pickups that do the business from the uh, from the volume and tone controls, and um, you know. Very, very playable guitar. Very, um, you know, comfortable to you know to to sit and play on for a little while, which is what I'm going to be doing. I've got a few lessons later today, so I'm going to just use this guitar in the lessons and you know just kind of get, get a feel for it, which is usually uh, the way I uh, I do these things. Let's just run you through some of the tones. Uh, neck pickup with the volume control backed off. You know, you've got that. Um That, you know, and then just dial it up a bit and suddenly you've got, you know, a bit more of a... That kind of sound. And let's do the same for the bridge pickup. Starting with the uh, the volume control, um, you know, down on it in, in the clean territory. More than a hint of Telecaster about that, to my ears. Uh, let's uh, crank it up and, um, you know, see what we've got. So... As I say, you know, everything exactly where you want it to be in terms of sound. Uh, the middle position with uh, the volume controls on the guitar just dialed back a bit. You know, great for doing, you know, that kind of... Strutting your funky stuff. Cowboy chords.
Always, I think, uh, one of the um, Achilles heels of um, budget Les Paul style guitars is being able to uh, do that kind of clean, open position strummy stuff. But the fact that you can do it with a, a dirty sound uh, dialed in and just controlling it from the from the volume controls on the guitar. Yeah, I got to tell you, I am. Um, I was hoping to be impressed by this guitar, and I have been. Of course, the elephant in the room is uh, sat over here. <laughs> you know, this one, the uh, the Harley Benton um, SC552. Um, I got into so much trouble with people in the comments section when I when I dared to uh, do a comparison between this and a Gibson uh, a few weeks ago. Um, so needless to say, there will be a comparison between the Harley Benton and the Epiphone, um, if nothing else, because it um, stands a good chance of, uh, you know, irritating the badge snobs, um, you know. But um, so far, yes, very impressed with that Epiphone. I'll keep you posted on how it settles in and whether or not it's going to be staying. I suspect it probably won't be, but, um, you know, stranger things have happened. We'll, we'll leave it at that. And that is pretty much the video for today, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this little unboxing and first impressions um, escapade that we've been through. This, as I say, is the, uh, the Epiphone um, Les Paul Classic Metallic Gold Worn Finish. Um, that's what I think about it as it's come out the box. I'll let you know more as I discover more about it. And that is the video for today. Hope you found it useful and informative and maybe entertaining in some small way. And if you have, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so. And why not give me a like while you're at it. Don't forget the live stream every Friday, 5pm UK time, where we drink beer and talk about music and guitars and stuff like that. What a fantastic way to kick off the weekend. I'd love to see you there if you can make it. But for now, I'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now